What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So with the season 3 reloaded update, we got a new assault rifle, the BAL-27. This bad boy was my favorite AR back in Advanced Warfare and I have some great memories from that game since it was the last Call of Duty I played competitively. Before before we get into the build I'm using for the Bell 27, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So the build I'm using for the Bell 27 is as follows. We're using the Channel M Rare Grip for a bit of recoil control and gun kick control, the SL Razorhawk laser light for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, we're using the Prime MNX barrel for increased movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and a bit of extra ADS movement speed, the DR6 hand stop underbarrel for increased ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed, and last but not least we're using the 60 round mag. If you guys have any suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me use in the new dark ether then go ahead and drop a comment below. Now that we went over the build I'm using for the bell 27 i'd say it's time to head over to the tier 3 zone and see how it performs in the new elder dark ether all right boys we made it to urzikstan and we have the bell 27 so let's go ahead and upgrade this thing get it to pack 3 real quick we also have a vr11 with us which we'll be using for the escort contract over in the dark ether so let's pack punch that uh, what else do we have here? So I'll throw in the mag of holding and drink speed cola. The dog bone, I think I'll save that in my bag until we actually go to the Elder Dark Ether. I don't know, I'll figure that out later on. <laughs> okay, so we do have that ATV right there. What contracts are available? Ooh, deliver cargo. Okay, yeah, I am. Yo, is my guy running kind of weird? Wait, what's he doing with his hand the whole time? Hold on, let's. Don't really see much in third person. What is going on right now? <laughs> guy looks like he's cracked out, dude. <laughs> it's that monster energy, man. I'm telling you. All right, so you can't see it right now, but we're also running thermites, which we're definitely going to need in the Elder Dark Ether just to kill that mega abomination as fast as possible. Um, of course, an Ether Blade would be nice, but that thing is on cooldown right now, and I don't feel like going to the old Dark Ether. I really want to get a good strategy going for the new one, where, you know, you don't have to rely on all that fancy equipment. Oop, definitely gonna take the rift here. Looks like that running bug fixed itself as well, and we are kind of lucky there's no one in the Tier 3 zone so far. I see that guy though, he's coming, he's coming for it. <laughs> Also, you probably will notice that the game audio is a bit louder in this video and the uh, music a bit more quiet. Let me know what you guys think about this audio setup and uh, yeah, I appreciate the feedback. Alright, let's go hijack that shipment. Let's actually test this bad boy out for a sec. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, we are going to have some fun, boys. <laughs> All right, there we go. Delivered the package. Let's see what we get here. Of course, the free self revive. Yep, there we go. Brain rot and quick revive. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll throw on brain rot real quick. Nice. Okay, so we do have a bounty contract up ahead. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Nice. We got the contract. Let's see what target we get. And it's a mega. Nice. Awesome. Favorite target right there. Let's quickly take these boys out. Oh my god, man. I'm loving the bell, I swear. It could also just be nostalgia for me, because um, Advanced Warfare was actually the last Call of Duty where I played competitively, you know, like during tournaments and wager matches and whatnot, so it, it could just be that, and this was my favorite AR back then. Alright, so we grabbed a few perks. Let's see where this Mega Abomination's at. There we go. Oh, someone already shot at this guy. Let's go. Alright, let's see how quickly we can kill this guy. And we are doing a fair amount of damage. Let's quickly jump down here though. Maybe if we come over to these buses. Oh, nice. Laser attack can't even reach us. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to drop down though. Get his attention. Nice, there we go. Now we can do it. I hate how the audio is kind of bugged out for Mega Abominations. 
It's not all the time, but like right here, laser attack is completely silent. And I usually rely on that audio cue. There we go. Set those criticals. Just a few more shots. Oh man, he's probably super weak. Yes, he is. Come on. And there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. What you drop for us? A rare tool and death perception, an epic tool, and a sigil. Nothing too special at all. Okay. Um, another bounty contract back there. I'll stick this LTV. And there we go. Got the contract. Let's see what target we get from this one. And it's another mega. Let's go. Back to back megas. I like it. I like it. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Mm, he's in a good spot too. I can just climb up here and trigger laser attacks constantly. Love that spawn. Man, this thing just absolutely rips through tier 3 zombies. It's insane. I'm loving it. Not sure how it performs in multiplayer though. I haven't tested that out, but at least here in zombies, this thing is incredible. Ooh, nice little group of zombies behind us. We'll actually take them out so we can pick up some ammo real quick. And there we go. Look at that. <laughs> this thing shreds. Ooh, two free self revives in there. Let's go. Hold on, let's actually check this one as well. No way, we just found a legendary tool, dude. Oh my god. Let's go. Nothing in there, of course. Holy. Okay, that is some really good loot. <laughs> let's use our thermite for that. Wait for that second laser attack to come in real quick. There we go, it's already coming in. Let's focus on that face to the right. We'll just have to keep an eye out for the zombies trying to climb up here. Come on, there we go. Let's keep lighting him up. He's about to die. Dude, it's crazy how fast you can kill with this thing. Nice, that's a final laser attack. And there we go, contract complete again. This thing's crazy, dude. Large bag napalm burst. Um, no, we'll keep brain rot. Definitely. Yeah, that's it. We'll pick up the essence though. Nice. Alright, let's quickly hit that ammo depot. See what else we have available. Ooh, another bounty. But it's looking like that guy might be picking it up. I'm not sure. Let's try... no? Oh, he's doing the ritual, isn't he? Yeah, it's looking like it. We could also do that. Um, uh, we got a legendary tool though, so I don't... Yeah, we really don't have to. Let's see what target we get. Come on, give us something good, and it's a Disciple, okay. My least favorite target, but let's see how the battle performs. Mm, a little normal Disciple right here. Oh, 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 let's back up, damn. Let's take all these boys out. I mean, it's just great in all situations, man, whether you're fighting off a single target, groups of zombies, or of course, HVTs. Just overall a great gun. Be mobile with this build too. ADS speed's good as well. Recoil is kind of heavy, but you know, if you just, just, you know, don't complain. <laughs> you can't have everything, boys. Okay, I see that disciple. Let's try to crack his armor. There we go, that stopped his heal. Let's keep lighting him up. Oh yeah, we are ripping through this guy. Oh, 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 snap, okay. That was, uh... That was, that was, yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Let's take out that group real quick before it, they cause any issues again. <laughs> there we go. I mean, yeah, just look at how quickly we killed that entire group, dude. Still a few more spawning in, but it's all good. Now we can focus on the Disciple. He's got about a quarter of his health bar left. He's so close to dying, man. Get back here, dude. Wait, what's that? Oh. I thought I saw something on the ground there for a second. Looked almost like a pack punch crystal. There we go. And contract complete. Quick and easy. And we got that self res back. Let's go. <laughs> awesome. Mm, no bounties anywhere. Let's quickly hit the buy station and grab a few Casimirs. Start setting up for our Elder Dark Ether run. Okay, let's we'll see how many we can buy. I think we got a good amount there. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, we got more than enough, man. Let's quickly stow that. Beautiful. Okay, okay. It's looking good for us, boys. Um, yeah, so that's six Casimirs in total once we teleport, since that's going to add an extra one. Yeah, I'd say like two more self reses, and we should be good to go over to the Elder. Alright, alright, let's see what target we get. 
Come on, and it's a Mimic. Okay, haven't had a Mimic so far. Nice. Alright, take some of these zombies out. Okay, Mimic is coming our way. Let's see if we can take out this group first. There we go. That worked. Let's quickly pull them over to this side so we can light them up. Nice, nice. Took off about a quarter of his health bar already. About to hit the halfway mark, actually. Damn. Okay, let's bring him back here. We'll have to take out some of the zombies. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Okay. Alright, Mimic, yep, hit the halfway mark. What power up is that? Double points? Eh, I'll grab it. Why not? There we go. Let's see if we can actually kill him in time. Should be able to. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely be able to. <laughs> there we go. Contract complete. And got a bunch of essence off that, of course. Okay, well, let's quickly hit the perk machine, get the last few perks. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get the last few self revives after. There's one thing I learned from that new Dark Aether. You can never have enough self reses, especially as a solo. Yes, sir. We still have 10,000 essence, which means we can get the last two self revives and we're fully perked up. Nice. Okay, okay. Two self revives. Very nice, very nice. And once we use our Elder Sigil, I'll go ahead and drop a Thermite and stow it. Just so we have three Thermites in total, and that's going to make that bounty contract super easy. There we go, we made it to the portal. Let's use our Elder Sigil. Nice, accept that teleport, drop the Thermite and stow it, and I'll see you all in the Elder Dark Aether. Alright boys, we made it to the Elder Dark Aether. So, the new strategy that I'm working with right now is just to rush towards that escort contract right away. That's the first contract we'll do. Then after this one, we'll do the bounty contract and then we'll do the outlast contract last. So let's quickly make our way over to the obelisk. We'll throw down a Casimir because of all the zombies up there. Just to make it easier to actually activate the obelisk and, uh, you know, get the contract started. So uh, let's quickly run around here there we go climb this ladder all right so there's a disciple up there shouldn't be too much of an issue though let's quickly throw that boom wait where where where'd our don't tell there's no way it fell down the... <laughs> it fell down the ladder dude <laughs> oh that's too funny all right boys we'll quickly pop ether shroud <laughs> that works too oh man that's too funny um, snap, we'd have to drop something though, never mind. Since we went down, I guess that's fine. Let's quickly take that. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, now we'll rush over to the escort contract. So, well, the ACV rather. Now, all you do for this part is just climb on top of the ACV. And the reason why we have the VR11 is so that we can actually heal this thing. So let's get it started. Okay, nice. Now we'll just climb on top and chill here for a bit. I think what I'll do is um, I'll use a dog bone once we're actually doing the outlast contract since I think that's one we'll probably struggle the most with. Let's quickly take out that mimic actually. If we can. Come on. Come on. Uh, he's he's going to be a bit further back anyways. It's just for that nuke. There we go. Let's keep healing this bad boy. Nice, we'll also turn a few zombies every once in a while. Uh, oh no, we missed. Come on, Mimic. Get in a better angle, dude. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, we are missing with this thing. I hate the delay on this thing, too, when you're shooting. Wait, holy. What the nut? <laughs> Weren't we fully played it there? I could be wrong. There we go. Mimic, you're gonna have to die, buddy. Come back here. Alright, let's get a bit closer again. Get that reload. Okay, nice. See, we actually turned one of the zombies using the VR-11. Oh my god, Mimics, calm down. Calm down. They all want a piece of your boy. There we go. Oh, that's what happened. We got shot at by multiple Mimics earlier. Jeez. Uh, there's a nuke back there, but if we go for that, it's going to stop the ACV from moving, and we don't want that. Okay, I see you there, Mimic. Nice. That works. That works. Let's see if there's some ammo. No ammo. Damn, okay. 
That's unfortunate. We're gonna need some ammo here soon, though. Let's see if we can get some off those guys now. Okay, we'll throw a Casimir in a bit. That'd be fine. Go. I usually save the Casimirs for this part here where it actually stops moving. Well, let's throw that. Come on. Oh my god, dude, the timing. Let's quickly self res. Nice. Alright, should be enough ammo on the ground now. There we go, yeah. Filling up that VR-11. Beautiful. There. Oh my god, dude. We're going down way too quick, boys. Holy. Let's shoot this thing again. There we go. Get that shot. Nice. It's actually oh, we turned him. No. I wanted the nuke. It's all good. Alright. Shoot into that crowd for a bit. Once again, how many self reses do we have? Okay, just one. That's fine. That'll be enough to get this contract done. There we go. Ooh, that mimic's actually got a nuke for us. See if we can kill him real quick. A few more shots. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, gotta love that buff. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Now for this part, I like to equip another Casimir again and throw one down here. Boom. It's going to pull in all the zombies. Beautiful. Get that thing healed up. See if there's some more ammo for us. Nice. And there's a nuke. Oh no, that was full armor. Here's the nuke. <laughs> nice. Let's heal this thing one more time. I'm back at 99%. Which is perfect. Let's kill some of these zombies up ahead. There we go. Nice. If only we had the, uh, what's it called, the dead wire thing. The new schematic. That would have come in handy too, especially if you have Shatter Blast on your gun. Okay, let's get a bit closer. Actually, oh, what? That missed? There we go. Oh, no. I thought that would turn him. Okay, we need to turn a zombie here. There we go. We turned one. Uh, oh, it's played up. Holy, that's a lot of zombies on us. Let's run back towards the ACV. Shoot that thing. There we go. Turned another zombie there for sure. Let's see if we can turn another. Uh, did that work? Yes, it did, I think. Oh, the ACV's health got... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my god, it was done too, bro. Ain't <laughs> no way. Oh no. Alright, it's all good. It's all good. Let's move on to that bounty contract now. There's no way that thing really blew up, dude. It was done as well. Like, the rocket was already taken off. That's stupid. It's all good, though. Alright, let's move over to this bounty contract here. There we go. Loop around this side, and we're going to pop Ether Shroud again. Like so. Let's quickly activate that seal and pick up that thing. There we go. The mind-blowing revelation. Okay. Let's take out these Hellhounds real quick. Actually, let's swap over. Nice. Beautiful. Let's get a bit closer. Where's this Mega at? And he's back there. Okay, getting his attention. Laser attack, maybe? Yes, thank you. That's exactly what we needed. There we go, destroyed one of his faces there, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and equip the extra thermites. Nice, another laser attack. Uh, I'm not sure if that did anything, no, it didn't. Kind of missed that one. By a bit, too. Hmm. Let's run back here. We'll throw Casimir on the ground. There we go. Dude, Casimirs are so good to have, I swear. Oh, nice. Let's come back to this side. Come on, Mega. Need another laser. Just one more. Come on. Alright, let's bring him over to this side. Ugh. We'll have to trigger another laser here soon, boys. Go ahead and reload this thing. There we go. Okay, he's still back there. Maybe if we climb now, 
Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I swear the timing, dude. Okay, we'll call in the dog now. It's about time. There we go. Oh. Nope. Nice. I see a few zombies glowing back there. See if we can manage to get ourselves a nuke. That would help out for sure. Is this one going? Oh, yes he is. Get back here, Mimic. Nice. That works. Alright, come on. Beautiful. He's about to die, man. Let's come back. No! The Nuke disappeared. Alright, let's just- Oh, no! Hey, now our dog's dead, isn't he? Is he? No. No, he is not. No, sir. Let's go. Ugh. I hit him with that as well. Quickly shoot that into him. Just a few more shots, man. And there we go. Contract complete. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Nice. We'll take the monkey bomb. Beautiful. Okay, let's rush over to that final contract now. Jeez, that was hectic, man. I have to think of something for that thermite play as well, because, hmm, kind of hard to not go down when you're, like, in the animation of throwing it. We'll figure something out for that, though. Maybe a different part of the roof or something? I don't know. Or maybe the main building and not that little shed. We'll figure it out, though. But so far, so good. Let's try to rush to that final contract as fast as possible. So we still have the Hellhound, of course, and we have the uh, extra self res now. So we should be fine. Just four minutes to go, but we're not far from the Xfil anyways. Xfil is right here in that corner. And that legendary tool, man, pulled two off of this run, which is great. Let's pop that. There we go. Activate the seal. Come on. Do it. Nice. Okay, so we still have Casimir's. I might as well throw one down here. There we go. Let's get this bad boy activated. Nice. And we'll just chill in here for a second. Insta-kill. Let's go. The nuke, I think I'll save up there for a second. Let's get some progress going first. Once it starts flashing, we'll pick it up for sure, though. Probably getting clear. Uh, okay, let's pick it up. Not taking any risks. Let's run around here, see if they dropped any more Casimirs for us or something. No, not seeing any. Not seeing any. Quickly turn a zombie. There we go. I swear the BR-11 is a blessing for this Dark Ether. Absolutely. There we go. Let's kill this bad boy. Ooh, get back here. Nice. Ooh. Thought I saw- okay, no, that was just our brain rot zombie. All good. Shoot at another one. I swear, man, they're perfect decoys. <laughs> Ooh, dead wire. Okay, 70%. So as you can see, like, if you do the other contracts first and then do this one last, you're fine. Just look at that. Barely any zombies to worry about. Just keep shooting at zombies with the uh, VR-11. Turn them into friendlies. Look at that. One more Casimir. Let's quickly throw it down. Why not? And there we go. <laughs> Look at all them kills. Let's go. Contract complete. Let's see what we got. Uh, dead wire and nothing, nothing too special. Nothing too special. Okay. Definitely happy with the loot though, especially those two legendary tools. That's great. Again, for those of you who don't know, once you finish your run, you want to make your way over to this part here. And that's where you find the Exfil, right here on the map, pretty much in the middle. Now, once you finish all the contracts, you can actually summon a boss by destroying all these spores. You can't damage them until you actually complete all the contracts. And since the escort failed, we can't do that anyways. But my solo strategy needs to improve so that we have like at least five minutes left by the time we're done. Um... Yeah, because uh, there, there's no way we could finish that boss fight in just two minutes, or at least I don't think so. I haven't attempted it yet. 
But um, yeah, in terms of the Bell 27, this thing is absolutely insane. And as you, as you guys saw, I mean, it performs well in the Elder Dark Ether as well, which is super hectic. Um, movement speed's on point with this thing. Just the overall mobility on it's great. So I definitely recommend this weapon. If you guys have any suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me use here in the Elder Dark Ether, drop a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out. Comment with any suggestions for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.